Now bring your pugs and their pals for a family friendly afternoon with fun activities for everybody. It's Omaha and the Midwest's largest pug event, but don't worry, other dogs are welcome and too. They're all welcome. They're We're all talking welcome. Pugaween with Tara Hangler and Lu uh, Luann Mosier. Thanks for coming. And the, and the, and the little pugs. We got a, Who do we we have? Got a puggle bee over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Harlow. And this is Adrian. And how old are they? Harlow is one. One. So. Adrian is 11. 11. Are they both female? Yes. Yep. Both female. <laughs> what is it about pugs that people, there's just some people just pug love fans. pugs. What is it about pugs? Um, I would probably say their personalities and personality. the fact that they, they're just very much loving, comforting mm -hmm. dogs. I mean, they, well, they, they don't leave your side. These well behaved. Yeah, and they're just we little snugglers. We get some crazy animals <laughs> on this show, and these guys are pretty tame. Uh, well, Pug Partners of Nebraska, for someone who's not familiar with that, uh, tell us what that is. Um, we are a 501c3, um, and we rescue and rehabilitate pugs mm -hmm. um, from all different areas, um, whether it be shelters or puppy mills, um, owner surrenders. Um, so they, they, they come from all different places. How many pugs do you have in your care? Right now we have about five. So um, any given year we rescue between 85 and 120. Okay, and well, they're up for adoption for, mm -hmm. yep. to be rescued. Yeah. So you, you adopted both years. Did yes. you? Right, through the we organization. Yep. Yes. We're both Louis. foster failures. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, it would be so hard if you take a dog in as a foster. It's adopting. hard. That's the hard part. But uh, tell us about your, your pug. When? Well, Adrian, we adopted her in 2010. Um, she was from a puppy mill in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, they got her at auction and um, we, uh, Took her as a foster, and my husband, of course, fell in love with her. Yeah. So next thing you know, we are adopting her. Yeah, she and has uh, some vision problems. Did she have she those did. when you adopted her? She did. Yeah. She had what they call pigmentary keratosis, mm -hmm. where it's like a film that grows over their eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and how long have you had her? Oh, since 2010. Yeah, so she's been a great dog for you. Yeah, she she's has. Mostly she's mostly blind, you said? Yes. Yeah. She's got partial vision in one eye, but the other eye, she does not. She and lost that girl. vision. Yeah, well, how does she, she feel about the costume, more importantly? <laughs> Is that maybe why she's be, she doesn't want to move? Because no, like, you put costumes uh, on and they like don't know what to do. She's very tolerant of costumes. Yeah. Oh, she's quite she, used to it. Is she, she yeah. Because we do it to her every year. What was she last year? Uh, I believe Minnie Mouse. Oh, cute. Well, it's fun to get your dogs all dressed mm -hmm. up. Uh, you have the event coming up, pug mm -hmm. Tell us what is that, how do people participate, and uh, what activities do you have going on? Um, it is Sunday from 12 to 4 mm -hmm. uh, up at the National Guard Armory on 69th and Mercy. Mm -hmm. um, we do have costume contests, pug racing, um, silent auctions, raffles. Uh, what did you say, pug racing? Pug racing. Mm -hmm. I've never seen pugs race. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how did, Breaks. How, what is pug <laughs> racing like? So we basically have boxes that we have built, and they each have a collar, and we do. We lift up the boxes, and then they race who gets to the end, <laughs> uh, and do they, we do have prizes well, for yeah, How they fast win? do they move? They can move so pretty Can they move pretty fast? Yes, they can. Some faster than others. Yes. <laughs> um, and you can see in these pictures that most people are dressed up, the, the owners and the dogs. So yeah. you encourage people to put costumes on? Yeah, yes. kids, adults, families. Um, we have one of our costume contest categories is best duo or group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have families that will have their, their pets dressed up, and then it'll be a whole combination between the family and the kids and but this is not just for pugs i mean you're celebrating pugs but all dogs can come all breeds correct? are welcome yep uh -huh. as long as they're friendly and they're leashed and <laughs> look at her tongue <laughs> sticking out, tongue hanging out. Uh, hey where do the proceeds go does it go right back to the uh, pug partners all in Nebraska? Proceeds, yep all proceeds go back to the rescue to help all the pugs so mm -hmm. so let's talk about where do you get the pugs from you said some puppy mills how are you finding yes. these animals <clears throat> We, uh, we get contacted by breeders occasionally, mm -hmm. um, and then there are also auctions where the breeders, when they're done using them, they will take them to auction and they will auction them off like livestock. Okay. So we will do our best to get some of them out of the system and rehabilitate them and socialize them and get them into mm -hmm. forever homes. Well, Pugaween is one of those big events throughout the year that is a major, uh, it raises some great funds for your organization and mm -hmm. helps you continue mm -hmm. some of that, those services throughout the year. Uh, and there's a discount for pre-registering for Pugaween. Can you talk about that for a second? Yep, right now um, adult tickets are $8 um, and kids are 4 um, The 26 we will be cutting that off and then it'll be Six dollars for kids and ten dollars for adults. Which is Thursday. So get your pre-registered tickets yes. Uh, yes. before Thursday <clears throat> for Pugaween this Sunday, October 29th from 12 to 4. And again, that's at the National Guard Armory.
Mm -hmm. Off of what streets? 69th and Mercy. 69th and Mercy. Well, I believe we put the pugs to sleep already. <laughs> Are they sleeping? <laughs> pretty, pretty close. They're, They're pretty, pretty close. close. Pretty she's close. not so quite, but she's so close. warm and cozy in these outfits. Mm -hmm. They are. Yeah. Pug Partners of Nebraska. Pugpartners.com. 888-509-1940 if you've got questions for them on adoption or if you want to foster a pug, I'm sure you can help mm -hmm. with all that information. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Well, Guys, thanks, thanks so much, ladies. Thank Good you. Luck the Good luck with Pugoween. <laughs>